after y'all real quick before my husband leaves and then i'm gonna show y'all every girl I'm supposed to be doing a video for y'all but uh, anyway today is the last day of school hey man we made it girl we made it by the time i loaded up y'all should be done too we made it we made it we made it now even though we made it and we're done last night i went through some worksheets and started tagging some stuff we could do over the summer i think it's really important especially for my child that i keep him engaged throughout the summer we ain't doing anything you know we're not doing stuff every day um it'll probably be two to three times a week and that is it just to keep him engaged mostly reading him reading to me or me reading to him or vice versa but he will be doing some type of math or language arts worksheet uh once a week that's it again not doing a lot once a week so we are done we are done for the school year he just has um i think it's so cute what they did for this week they did escape rooms where they have to do answer questions online to escape a room so today's um assignment is to escape a camp fire i don't know girl like camping ground or something we'll probably do that later on today but one thing i want to mention you guys even though we are homeschooling we're very careful comfortable excuse me we were actually on the fence for a while about homeschooling doing just due to some things that have occurred with um the things going on at jv school and so those of you who don't know who are new to my channel uh first grade was horrible at jv school the teacher quit mid-year and we didn't really have a teacher he had three teachers for kindergarten first grade has been very interesting towards the end there um i was going up to the school every week because we were having issues with bullying um and also issues with him performing academically at school he was not engaged he was bored and his teacher even admitted when i told her we were homeschooling we had decided to homeschool way back in march when i told her this she she mentioned that that is the best thing to do with jb because what did she say she said he's such a unique child and he has a, a very unique way of learning that he was falling under the ra radar with her like he was he's quiet y'all i noticed that when interacting at school he's quiet at school and so he will fall back if, if he's not out there you know showboating or whatever not necessarily showboating his personality at home is not the same at school and he's not shy but jb is an introvert he is it's really interesting to see that type of personality um but he's he's an introvert i think he is so at school i remember once it was like mid-year she said he says something and he said something funny i don't know what are you talking about jb is a stand-up comedian he's always saying some funny stuff but he doesn't talk at school and it's not because he's shy because he even says that i said i asked him so are you shy he's like i'm not shy I'm like, I know you're not. High five. Anyway, I'm getting way out off subject. That's another mis misconception when it comes to introverts is that, is that people automatically assume we're shy and we're not. You know, some of us are, but some of us aren't. All over the place, you guys. I'm sorry. But anyway, she had mentioned back in March that she thinks that that's a, a great route to go with JB. Um, but now, since we're officially out of school, I know a lot of you guys are ecstatic. Um, but me homeschooling, I'm preparing myself, getting all the curriculum stuff together over the course of the next few weeks. Because we're going to be starting homeschooling towards the end of August, August 17th. Brown boy excellence. Yes. <sighs> You really have to do that right here. Where the hell are y'all going? These damn kids. So anyway, y'all, um, I'm on Facebook and I'm seeing some comments from other moms uh, and people basically like, you know, or is there anyone? I, I've, I've replied to several threads and I, I rarely do you guys. I do a lot of lurking, even on my on my page. I post maybe once a week or once every two weeks i don't post a lot a lot even on my personal facebook page so a lot of parents are concerned about what school is going to look like once their kids go back um you know a couple of moms are asking is there anyone for sure uh, considering homeschooling i know there are a lot of people who are considering homeschooling but um i have seen this blue diagram that basically this is uh, summarizing these are the cdc guidelines that is not 
factual. You really do need to do your research when you see, we know this, when you see stuff floating around on Facebook, do your own, do your own research. I was pulling stuff already from the CDC directly and I've seen the CDC guidelines. And from what I understand it, it will be up to the state to determine what they will follow. Now you guys, some of the things they're considering is a staggered pickup drop off times um, for kids to do partial virtual learning um, and then go to school some other days. What else? Um, there won't be any outdoor recesses and big groups like that. Uh, there won't be any group lunches. You will be having lunches in your classroom. A lot more hand washing and all that. It's gonna look interesting. Now, everybody, family is different. Everyone is, um, their family situation is different. But for our family, due to, you know, me being uh, immune compromised, due to underlying, underlying health issues, but even besides that, just the issues we've had with JV in school, homeschooling is the route for us, regardless of what the CDC guidelines were gonna be, okay? So, but I think it's gonna be really interesting to see how things are gonna go. I don't know how, how young children will be able, will be able to adhere to that on the same in the same breath i'm gonna say this we have to have faith in our educators and the teachers the administrators um and that our children will be resilient um with that being said i'm keeping my child at home <laughs> my husband has his own opinions which i'm not going to share in detail but and he didn't go into detail but he's basically like don't 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 send them to school for a while like for a year, like not for, for a while, only because of my immune system. Again, let me just say that because of my immune, immune system. Um, and he thinks that most people who have younger kids, like kindergarten age or kids that haven't built up an immune system, they shouldn't even be going right now. They should stay home, like homeschool if you can. If you got small children under the age of five, keep them home, under the age of six, keep them home. So JV has built up his immune system because he's been around. But again, we don't want nothing coming home to me, right? All right, you guys. So it is Thursday. Christine decided to take off today. You know what? She sent me a text message. What the hell? What's that noise? Anyway, she sent me a text message asking me how did my water aerobics go. Girl, I didn't do it. I told her yesterday that I was going to work out in, in the swimming pool. In the swimming pool. I didn't do that more organizational changes another reorg occurred and when i was on pto last week i heard that there were some layoffs and y'all i know there is someone up there looking out for me watching over me because when i tell you i have been saved from every type of reorg layoff it's just truly i thank god every day Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for being my rock. Thank you for being my provide, provider, Jehovah Jireh, everything. So, if we were under, first of all, I, I say this, but I don't think we, I would have been let go. But you never know. Nothing's guaranteed, okay? You know, I, every, look, everyone is replaceable. I, yeah, everyone is replaceable. I don't, I can't have that mindset. One of the things I've learned working in corporate America is to place yourself in a position to where it will be difficult for them to re to replace you. Like when I'm out, oh baby, when I'm off work, you can tell. Like it's, let's wait till Vivian gets back. Um, I'm not sure about this. Uh, Vivian, I know you're off, but can you handle this? Yeah, when I was off um, last week, I had to log on a couple of times to answer some stuff. And again, it doesn't mean that, you know, they couldn't figure it out eventually, but it was just, it's quicker to come to me because I have that knowledge. I have the system knowledge. I have the historical knowledge of the clients, et cetera. Right, I made it brighter so y'all can see me. I have been buying so many hair. Wait, 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 give it to me, child. So many, so many hair products. First of all, I need to I need to send her a message. Busby, Bubs. I saw her African Pride um, review. I had already got those products. Excuse me, I had already gotten some of those products. But when I saw her do the style, I'm like, and then someone posted. Oh, by the way, Walgreens was it Walgreens or CVS? Sis, I think it's. Uh, uh baby, be careful. I think it's. One of them is having to buy one, get one 50% off. And the products are already, you know, cheap. $4.99. I went ahead and got the rest. I got two more products by African Pride. I got the detox mask coming in. I got something else from 
uh what is this i have like four more hair products coming in i have the apple g i feel like somebody has already been have you been in this i feel like okay let me stop it i have the apple g curlific undo that texture treatment here undo that go over there and undo that <laughs> Uh oh, be careful, baby. Take that tape off. I got that. I have still the VO5. I got this from eBay. I'm trying to figure out what did I order from Sally's? I can't remember. I think I ordered the African Pride I Detox Mask. I think I got that from. But I, I got something else from like Walmart, y'all. Then, then, it's yeah, on top sticky. of that. Okay, baby. On top of all that, I've been trying to look for. Go tell Daddy bye bye. Go tell Daddy bye, baby. He's leaving. On top of all that, I was still trying to find TGIN's rose water products. Um, through I, I know they sell them through Alta. She doesn't have them directly. You know, I'm gonna send her a DM. <laughs> I need to send her a DM. She, but she keep for some reason she keep thinking I'm in Dallas. I'm like, no, I'm not in Dallas. So anyway, Christia, y'all, the owner of TGIN. I need all those products, but I don't want to pay for them. But you know, you can't be that way. You know, that's how uh, black folks be. They feel like since they know you, they need to get the hookup. Um, I'm not going to be, I don't do that. Even when I know someone, I don't do that. So I'll go ahead and so, cause she sent me so many free stuff, y'all. Like seriously, TGIN. I was getting a lot of that stuff for free before she got into Target. Um, open it. You know who I will contact though, I think, because her stuff is expensive. Open it. Um, what is her name? Oh, god, I keep forgetting her name. Is it Jeanette? Jeanette, open it. the owner of Chocolate Kinks and Curls. I, I, I want her to send me all of her detox clays because they're expensive, yes, they're almost $30. Can I see? Hold on, hold on, baby. Can't touch it. It's just mm hmm. That smells like, what does that smell like? Smell it. It smells like a perfume store. It does smell like a perfume, you're right. Child, this smells like a, um, Elizabeth Taylor, Taylor's White Diamond collection. It smells like an 80 year old uh, white woman, so. <laughs> <laughs> you're making him clean the pool. He making you clean the pool, baby. Hold on, let me. This is JB cleaning the pool. If I go around and get it. What is he standing? Is he standing on a step stool? Yeah. Hey, 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 you guys! It is Saturday. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. Oh, these allergies. We are on our way to Dunkin' I Donuts. I came up like that. I'm recording. You recording. We recording. Dad recording. Dad is not here. Yeah, we're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts. I'm going to. Um, we go to Dunkin' Donuts. And then to the Dollar Tree. This is gonna be a quick. It is early. Like when I decide to run errands during this epidemic, pandemic. Excuse me. I try to go as early as possible. Meaning before nine o'clock before the crazies go out so we're gonna go to dunkin donuts real quick then go to the dollar tree pick up a few things and then we're out i want to be home by 9 30 the latest guys and maybe i'll i'll film a chit chat video i ain't got nothing to talk about i gotta be in the mood to film chit chat videos y'all i don't have anything to talk about so maybe i'll do like a mini chit chat video in the middle of i won't do an official chit chat video we'll talk about some stuff in the middle of this everybody is out walking their dogs Oh, child, is that my neighbor? He sure is gaining weight. Girl, we all gaining weight. So, look, I start a new diet plan come June. I should start it next week. Let's not start June. I'm going to start something next week where I have to meal prep all my meals. I have to work out every day, mostly hit high intensity. I have a treadmill because I'm... I'm over 10 pounds at this point of gaining weight. But this is not quarantine weight gain this is just weight gain over the last year i've gained about 12 pounds over the last year or so my goal is to lose 15 pounds in two months girl i just got finished filming a video from y'all the video will probably be up before um the hair video <sighs> 
<laughs> I really don't like it when my hair doesn't come out the way I want it to come out. And so, I'm gonna go get some chicken. I don't know if it was the product, and I'm very honest in my reviews, you guys. I don't know if it was the product or if something was wrong before I added the product. Um, don't do that while I have this on here, it'll fall, sweetheart. But I'm gonna give it another try. I did see two reviews for this particular line and their hair looked just like mine. And I saw someone in the comment that said that the products left her hair very dry. Not only did the products leave my hair dry, but it, le it, it left it feeling stringy and heavy. And I'm going to try it with, I, it's like a heavier leave-in conditioner. Cause I use, what did I use? I use Giovanni. <clears throat> so I will try it with a heavier leave-in conditioner and hope that that will help out because this is a mess. It's such a mess that I'm gonna have- these bowls always in here? It's such a mess that I'm gonna have to go ahead and wash my hair again. So anyway, y'all, we'll see.